Greetings, my name is Dwayne De Silva. I'm an SAP Leonardo and Cloud Platform Solution Engineer, and in this video, I would like to give you an overview of SAP Leonardo. Over the years, many people have said that innovation is a random process. It occurs when somebody wakes up in the middle of the night with a great idea and happens to remember and write it down, or that it requires geniuses and super smart people in very specific fields that are able to, to focus on innovation. Or, or that in general, it can be just a slow and expensive process that's hard to complete and hard to, to justify and measure. And, and as such, what we should do is just leave innovation to the R&D department. And I'd like to ask the question, is, is that the case? And more importantly, can innovation truly be made accessible to everyone? Well, many innovations that seemed crazy at one time ended up rapidly impacting our lives. And Here's an example of the airplane, which many of us use frequently. And back in 1901, a well-known gentleman named Wilbur Wright made the statement that there would be no flight for 50 years. And yet in 1903, two short years later, they flew. Right. So fast forward to today, and we now live in a digital age where everything around us is transforming amazingly quickly and it's affecting the ways that we we work and do our jobs it's affecting the way that we live in our neighborhoods around us and it's definitely impacting the way that we interact with each other well interesting ceos understand this urgency and the potential impact on their business. And back in 2016, Forbes noted that 72% of global CEOs believed that the next three years would have dramatically greater impact than the last 50 years. So the net, and CEOs and businesses understand this, is that you need to innovate or your business, your organization will perish. Phil McKinney, an American business person, made the statement that when it comes to innovation, an ounce of execution is worth more than a ton of theory. And, 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 and that's meaning that in, it's, it, it may be easy to theorize, but actually moving on it can be difficult. Now, back in 2016, Accenture did a study, and they noted that only 5% of, of organizations believed that they had mastered digital to the point of differentiation um, with their competitors. So, so the question becomes, we know we must innovate, or we might perish, but we're not ready. So what do we do? This is why we created SAP Leonardo. SAP saw the opportunity to help our customers by creating a digital innovation system that enables our customers to rapidly innovate at scale so that they can redefine their business models and, and business processes for this digital age. We chose the name SAP Leonardo because Leonardo da Vinci was an artist and a scientist and an innovator. And he knew that true innovation required the blend of art and science. And SAP Leonardo embraces this approach. So what is SAP Leonardo? Well, at its core is design thinking. This is a human-centered creative process that really aims to amplify human capability with technology, not replace it. And it does this by embracing empathy and collaboration between folks in a fast moving and engaging environment. Design thinking is a widely used and mature process that we've used extensively uh, with our customers. Execution comes by means of an innovation methodology. This includes elements such as solution ideation and vision. And this, these are really design-led workshops that are really centered around digital transformation. Next is rapid prototyping. 
The goal here is to quickly bring ideas to life so that users can interact with them and provide tangible feedback. Now, any innovation needs a clear definition of ROI and strategic value, so it also includes business case development. And lastly, a technology blueprint. Because this really provides the how element to how we we're going to realize and, and create the actual innovation. Next are the six core technologies of SAP Leonardo. And the first one is, is IoT or Internet of Things. This really is about bringing data from connected devices to be able to bring it into the context of business processes and, and make it usable in that sense. Next is machine learning. Uh, this is a domain that IDC says will be in 75% of enterprise development projects by 2018. Next is blockchain. Blockchain is a very early stage technology at this point, but it really has the potential to dramatically transform transactional systems. And thus we want to ensure that it's it is at the core of SAP Leonardo. Next is big data and the ability to not just manage, but strategically manage vast amounts of data that are being used in and throughout enterprise systems and, and analytics. Data intelligence is all about putting data in context to support real-time decision-making scenarios. And of course, analytics, which has been around uh, for a very long time, but in, in, in our case, the core approach is to make sure that we can not only bring analytics pervasively throughout the enterprise solutions, but enhance it with capabilities such as machine learning to actually enhance our decision-making capability. Now, SAP Leonardo is built on the SAP Cloud Platform. And this platform is the leading digital enterprise platform that provides really the underlying dynamic architecture for Leonardo. It's comprised of a broad selection of business and technical services. And it, it really requires all of the innovation technologies that are available in a single platform in the cloud. And all of this is built on a multi-cloud infrastructure, which gives customers their choice of deployment infrastructure while still maintaining the improved agility and reduced cost of ownership of, of going with a cloud strategy. And also SAP understands the need for speed in innovation. And that's why we have created a robust set of industry accelerators that combine design thinking, industry expertise, SAP's uh, over four decades of experience across 26 industries. It combines software and services together in a fixed cost and a fixed time that will allow innovation to happen very quickly. So what impact can customers expect from SAP Leonardo? Let's take a look at our customer, Stara. Stara is one of the largest manufacturers of agricultural machinery in Brazil, and they have an amazing goal as a company, and that is to feed the planet, to feed the world, which I think is just amazing. Well, interestingly, they're already, they were already a very tech-savvy company. They, they had equipped and taken their tractors that their customers utilized, and they had equipped them with many different sensors and a powerful computer, and they were using that to provide enhanced service and support to their customers. So they fed this back to their core ERP system, and then they could use this to interact with their support and service providers in order to help their customers and, and improve their support. Well, this led to an amazing idea. What if they could take all of this amazing data that they were collecting already on these tractors and actually use it to help the farmers and, and ask the question, could we actually improve, help to improve the yield of the farms with the equipment that's on our tractors? And it was a fantastic idea, but they faced a few challenges to make that happen. The first one was that the data context was not really in a 
form that lent itself to be consumed and used by farmers or farm owners for this for this problem. The next one is they they really kind of lacked development experience with creating this type of a solution. And, and on top of that, they had no real platform to be able to combine all of the technologies and capabilities together in, in, in order to accomplish. It. So uh, Star partnered with SAP Labs to validate this concept and build a prototype out really as, as uh, described by the SAP Leonardo Innovation Methodology. Now, the, the solution that they chose and they came together and, and, and built was built on the SAP Cloud Platform. And the elements of the cloud platform that they utilized were HANA for its powerful data management and, and analytics foundation capabilities, IoT so that while the data was, was being sent to ERP, it could now be sent to the cloud platform, and of course, our industry-leading analytics capabilities that could be utilized by farmers. So with this foundation, they were not only able to take advantage of this back in their core, but to their goal, they were now able to provide relevant information and context to the farmers so that they could get insight into information such as how much, uh, what volume of fertilizer was being used or how many seeds had been planted. And, and this provided them the ability to make really decisions right? Yes, no, any kind of decisions they need to in real time based on the data coming from the tractors. This had a direct and dramatic improvement on the original question, which is the yield. And what that resulted in is an improvement of 51% in their yield of their fields, which was fantastic because that directly impacted their original goal of feeding the world. So SAP Leonardo and the Leonardo methodology had a direct impact on STAR's ability to execute. And they chose us because we were really the only company that brought this entire system to help make this innovation a reality. As we've discussed, SAP Leonardo is a complete digital innovation system that allows our customers to rapidly innovate and transform at scale for the digital age. In, with SAP Leonardo, innovation gets done. Thanks for listening.